going on everyone? It's Brandon with Code Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. In this video, we're talking about wearing multiple chains. The reality in doing so, now you see me up here looking nice with my chains perfectly layered. It took me about two minutes to set this up. But when wearing them daily, it changes. And a big question we receive is, when wearing multiple chains, will they scratch each other? So I want to cover that topic as well. With that being said, Let's get started. A lot of people buy their first gold chain, love it, and say, you know what, I just want a gold chain, but then eventually be like, I need another chain. The two chains, one neck, is the ultimate flex and a goal for anyone buying chains. The thing is, people are cautious because when it comes to gold, it's expensive, and we all know gold is easily scratched. And let me be honest with you guys, no matter if it's 9 carat, 10 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat, 22 carat, 24 carat, it's going to scratch. Some people be like, I only buy 10 carat, so I don't want my do it. No. No matter the purity, it's going to run into the same issue of scratching. Now, if you're super concentrated about that issue, there's a few different style chains that I'll talk about in this video that I would recommend to prevent or so you don't see that scratching as easily as other types. The big thing also is your chains tangling. Now, like I said in the intro, I put these on, made them look nice. That's my job to do so. But daily wear, when you're moving around, whatever it is, these chains start to tangle and they might overlap like this. That's something you really can't avoid. You throw some pendants too, they swing around and you get this look right here. And depends on what you're doing really, but all you got to do is just kind of fix it once in a while. Now, a lot of people, and this is kind of a different issue, is the lobster class dropping or the box clock, box lock dropping. That's unavoidable as well. If you're super just trying to make sure it looks perfect all the time, you got to learn to relax off that because there's no way in doing so. Honestly, I get a little bothered when my chains get tangled. I wear my cross, a small Jacoji link, and a flat curve, and they get tangled all the time. I just... Make it a point whenever I notice it just to straighten them out and it just takes that. That's all it is. There's no real fix in that issue. I wish I had a magic trick to avoid that. But as far as chains tangling, you have to know that and I think it helps to know that ahead of time instead of getting two chains and you're feeling good about yourself and all of a sudden they start tangling and you're like, what's going on? I don't like this look. At least I'm telling you beforehand that that's kind of what to expect. So when it happens, you're cool with it. I think that helps a lot of people out just to know what to expect when wearing multiple chains. Now check me out. I got the five millimeter, 20 inch diamond cut Franco in 14 karat yellow gold with a seven millimeter, 22 inch rope chain that is diamond cut as well. I like wearing these. These are heavy chains. Now let's talk about gold scratching. You can't avoid it. These are 14 karat gold, so 58.5% pure gold, which is above 50%. Obviously, there's a lot of gold content in these chains, and gold is soft. It scratches. There's nothing you could do about it. But why I bring this up? Because these particular chains hide scratches very well because of how they're made. I'll show a B-roll. Check out the 5 millimeter diamond cut Franco. Because of all the facets on this chain, you're not going to see the minor scratches that can happen with two chains like this rubbing. Now check out the rope chain. Even though this is a thick 7 millimeter rope chain, you still, because of all the facets, because of how this chain is made overall, you're not going to notice any scratches. And if you go with the jeweler's loop, if you're looking for scratches, guys, you'll find scratches. I'm sorry. It's best to just accept it and wear it. And if it really bothers you that you want to keep your gold polished and shiny as it first arrived, it's very tough and you're going to have a struggle with that. I'm just being honest with you guys. But if you, if that's something, an issue, then I would recommend chains like this that will help. Now, take a look. I'm wearing the biggest no-no in the American community is, first of all, don't wear 22 karat gold. It is way too soft. In my opinion, it is not. I would not carry and invest large sums to bring these chains if I really didn't think customers could wear them. So yes, you can wear 22 karat gold chains, no problem. I got the four millimeter 22 karat diamond cut rope and the three and a half millimeter diamond cut Franco, both in 22 carats at 22 inches. So I wore them at the same length, which is even more of a no-no because they're really just on top of each other, technically rubbing. But as I mentioned previously, this is how confident I am you will not see any scratches, blemishes, or anything like that just because of the nature 
of these chains, not really showing them it's okay to wear multiple chains at the same length. When you go staggered leg, it might help some people sleep at night because you have an inch or two inches where it's not really rubbing, it's rubbing in the back and on the sides. Keep in mind that chain's gonna rotate all the time, so all the areas are really gonna get scratched up at the end of the day, but for the same length, I know a lot of people don't like that because they feel like it's gonna scratch more, but if you separate them, yes, there is a little space that's not, but at the end of the day, like I explained, eventually if it's gonna scratch it's gonna scratch now let's take a look at the link style chains i got the four and a half millimeter yacht link at 22 inches and the five and a half millimeter flat curve at 24 inches this is a nice look overall naturally with link chains guys they can fold they could twist so if you're worried about that and you're wearing multiple then it might be more of an issue i personally wear my five and a half flat curve every day don't really notice a problem it doesn't bother me at all i love that chain would not pick another chain to wear daily so i want to represent the five and a half flat curve in this video the chains to avoid if you're highly concerned are high surface polished areas like heavy links, Jokoji links, Miami Cuban links. You guys get the point. Chains or bracelets that have a lot of high polish on the surface, not diamond cuts like those diamond cut Frankos we showed or rogue chains because naturally they're going to show and they're pretty. You take them out in the sun, a Miami Cuban link, a highly polished Miami Cuban link will shine. They are nice looking chains or bracelets, overall link style chain, but they pick up scratches fairly easy. So if you're super focused on scratching, then stay away from those heavy links, Jokoji links, or the Miami Cuban links, or any other style. There's thousands of chain styles around with these high polish areas because that's where the scratching is gonna pick up. And when talking about wearing multiple chains like this, the good thing about the flat curve, it has that concave diamond cut. So it's kind of the same as a Franco where there's not one particular huge surface area that you're gonna notice it. So it's easier on the eyes. The Yacht Link has more of a high polish finish. So if you're worried about that, then I would avoid a high polish surface area like those chains I just mentioned. But overall, it is good to wear these style chains. If you're wearing them and then, like I said, if they get kind of tangled daily where you have a pendant and gets tangled, just adjust them as I'm doing in this video. It'll look nice. At the end of the day, I wish there was more that I could say to help avoid your chains getting tangled or your gold scratching, but you can't avoid it. It's just something that's gonna happen when wearing gold jewelry, but you get routine and you probably don't even know it, but you're probably all day just kind of fixing your chains, making sure they're good, feeling that they're flat, whatever the chain is, you guys get it. Just try to pay attention to yourself. I know it happens. And overall, you look good most times. That's what matters. The whole point is just to, if you are wearing a chain, if you want multiple chains and don't have experience wearing it, just to kind of give you guys a heads up that this issue will happen. But it is not that big of a deal. In my opinion, I think you could wear your gold with multiple gold items. It'll be fine. So drop a comment down below if you got the two chain stack. That's it for today's video. We'll see you on our next jewelry video.